Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony. Today, when I got home, I saw these guys on my yard. I am so fortunate to get to live in an area that has nature surrounding me. I love the animals, plants, and trees. It is very peaceful where I am living at. I hope that you guys had a good Monday. Today, I am going to do another plant review. I got this plant last year from Walmart. It is part of Costa Farms Trend and Tropical Collection. This is Monstera Peru, also known as Monstera Carstianum. One of the pro of having this plant is that it is very easy to take care of. In terms of potting mix, this monstera can live in regular potting soil. However, you always want to amend your soil with perlite to promote better drainage. You do not want the plant to have root rot. This monstera isn't picky when it comes to watering either. Just water this plant when the first three to four inches of the soil feels dry. There are no other plants on our market right now that have the leaves like the Monstera Peru. Just look at that beautiful striation and texture of the leaf. Now let's talk about the cons of having a Monstera Peru. First of all, this plant is uncommon and depending on where you are, it might be difficult to find it. Buying this plant online could cost you around $20 to $30. Unlike other Monstera variety, this plant do not develop fenestration. If you are into fenestration, then do not get the Monstera Peru. As you guys can see, my plant is quite mature and the only thing that it does is put out bigger leaves. While this plant is a fairly easy going plant, if it does not get the requirements that it need, it will become very laggy. This plant is also super easy to propagate you guys. All you need to do is identify the node, cut it, and place it in a glass of boss with water. Here is an example where my Monstera Peru wasn't happy. It became laggy and stringy. Overall, I think Monstera Peru is the perfect plant to spruce up my collection. It is very easy going and the foliage is gorgeous. Again, I got my Monstera Peru at Walmart as part of Costa Farms Trend and Tropicals collection. At the time I got it, it was only $15 in a very nice white ceramic pot. And when I got it, what I did was I let it acclimate to my environment and then I repotted it. The medium that the Monstera came in was Coca Core. I think that it uh, retains too much moisture so uh, therefore I decided to change it to my regular aeroid potting mix and since then the plant has been doing very well and over the summer I staked it to a um, nursery pot and then let it climb up the stake and as it climbed the leaves just kept on getting larger and larger as you guys can see here, I just love the texture of this leaf. The leaf on the Monstera Peru is so unique. And like I said before, it is the only plant on the market currently that has this texture. The other plants that had this or have this texture is an Anthurium Luxurian. And those are very, very pricey right now. Hopefully one day they will become more readily available to uh, growers. Uh, or hobbyists like us. Uh, 
I highly recommend you guys go out and get the, your hands on the Monstera Peru. What's nice about getting this plant from Costa Farms is that their pot usually contains more than five plants per pot. I think that is a great deal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This is Tony. Take care of yourself and your plants. Bye.